If you have a Pico AWG, uh, then you can easily make a PWM driver. Uh, all you need to do is to put the output of the device uh, to a simple circuit that contains the following components. So the output of AWG is coming in through the BNC connector. Uh, its voltage is shifted by a 3 volt button cell. Uh, the plus of the button cell is connected to a gate of this MOSFET and uh, the source of the MOSFET is connected to the uh, ground uh, it also connected to the pico ground uh, the drain of the MOSFET is connected to the load and I'm also using a fuse as a precaution because who knows what can happen to the load uh, as a load, I'm just using a simple automotive map light uh, so we can see how brightly it is lit depending on the signal for coming from the Pico AWG. Uh, we have channel A uh, set on the gate of the MOSFET so that we can track the voltage here and the channel B is connected to uh, the load voltage so we can observe that as well. Uh, one precaution is that on most MOSFETs the drain is connected to the heatsink. So the whole heatsink uh, is connected to the load. So make sure it doesn't touch anything. Okay, now with that let's go and take a look what we have on the screen and indeed we have a nice 4 kilohertz square wave at the input, at the gate of the MOSFET. Uh, it's a shifted voltage, so it goes from about 1 volt to 5 volts. Uh, and on the load side, we see exactly the same uh, square wave, uh, inverted though, uh, going from 0 to 12 volts just as we wanted. So the device is working perfectly, the MOSFET is switching nicely at 4 kilohertz. Uh, it's uh, pretty good. Now we can also have a fun with the AWG and we can uh, uh, enable the sweep mode and uh, make the frequency change up and down and we see that the voltage at the load side mirrors uh, the input. So you can also work with devices that are controlled by frequency rather than PWM. Make sure that your amplitude here is plus minus 2 volts, otherwise the device wouldn't work correctly. Now let's go for a more fun experiment we want to use uh, AWG, so we need to set up the duty cycle. So I will have a square wave with a one cycle. You have to reset minimum and maximum to plus minus one. And then set the duty cycle to whatever you want it to be. So let's apply and see what happens. Uh, with the duty cycle 25% and so we see that it is 25% at the same frequency as before 4 kilohertz and we see the mirror image in the uh, load side going from 0 to 12 volts with uh, looking at the map light we see that it's barely lit, which we expect from 25% duty cycle. If you change it to 75% and apply, then we'll see that 75% duty cycle on the input and the map light is lit more brightly though not as it would be at full power.
So this shows that the device works perfectly. 4 kilohertz is a pretty awesome frequency. You might want to use less uh, for uh, your devices, but uh, it works fine. Now you can control uh, PWM devices such as uh, valves, motors, and also frequency uh, devices that respond to the frequency of the signal.